Now welcome to another edition of News from the Boo with Thor's Lightning Takes. And let's get right to the news. Alright, we have found out Katie Sackoff visited the set of Ahsoka. But she kind of refused to confirm whether or not that meant bo will be in the show. She's just visiting. Yeah, because normally you just get to visit other sets and lots you, you and hang out. You do when you're and... bo You're the leader no. of Mandalore. bo has such a connection to Ahsoka, it's... Too, it's too coincidental. Yeah. You have to be invited to go visit a set. They invited Ashley Eckstein. They invite George Lucas. They don't just go, hey, uh, I worked on a project with you one time. I want to come visit the set. Oh, you're invited. Yeah, That's some cool. of them have that kind of pull. No, no. Okay, hey, let's so. not forget Katie Sackhoff was the one who said, you know, was asked about being in The Mandalorian ever. And she's like, you know, Lucasfilm has some badass NDAs. Yeah. So we're getting in that situation of even if she is in there, deny all involvement. Well, Katie Sackhoff, she did attend a fan expo in Philadelphia. She dropped behind-the-scenes intel on Bo-Katan. She confirmed that she attended the set of Ahsoka, but not if she's going to be reprising Bo-Katan in that show. There's obviously some speculation about possibly Din or Bo, or maybe both of them, appearing in the series because it is supposed to have interconnectivity that runs through it. But so far, there's no proof about how this Ahsoka is going to really connect back into the Mandalorian. Another interesting tidbit is Brendan Wayne was also on set. He also visited. So, yeah, he's just... Brendan's just visiting, too. Just visiting. Yeah, we usually have... It's like playing Monopoly. We usually have the body double of the Mandalorian hang out (laughs) and visit with Bo-Katan. Maybe he's getting an episode. (laughs) It's going to be a Mando (laughs) tradition to get, like, two episodes. He, He has to come in and get his episode. That's only fair. We do have to keep in mind, Ahsoka and Skeleton Crew have been shooting simultaneously on the same lot. So maybe one of the characters will appear in one or the other show. Hmm. There's nothing saying that they couldn't pop up in Skeleton Crew instead. Mando's going to get his episode to Skeleton Crew is what you're saying. Yeah, he popped up. He actually went to both sets. Probably got an episode in each. <laughs> it's going to be great. It's going to be great. Pedro gets the call. Hey, we're going to use your voice for a little bit. Or maybe they, hey, just pop by to say hi to the Ahsoka crew, which you think Pedro would pop by, but no, nah, he's too busy. He's Brendan, got Brendan Wayne, he's got the swagger. He he shows up. He visits. I mean, it makes sense, especially especially Skeleton Crew to have a bigger quote-unquote cameo. It like might Amanda need or something. it yeah, because it's, it's so far removed and there's no setup for it yet at all. Yeah. That's why I thought Ahsoka would set it up, but Ahsoka seems to just be running on its own thing full speed ahead. There's also a fun fact that bo shared, and this is a little weird. Okay. She was talking about her her suit, her costume in The Mandalorian. Sure. Her Beskar armor. Yes. Yep. She was, and she just likes to joke around. We've heard her joke around plenty. She has a, a zipper in it. It's a one-piece outfit, by the way. There's a one-piece. The whole jumpsuit is one piece. Interesting. So there's a, a zipper and a, and a shiwi to go to the bathroom between takes. Hmm. And apparently she has ruined one bo jumpsuit. Hmm. Why you'd admit that, I don't know. Because she's not afraid. She's not afraid to tell you everybody that it, she man. wet herself? You own your embarrassment and people can't use it against you. she get her shiwi open fast enough? Wow, like that how badly did she have to go? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. She couldn't get the zipper going with the gloves on. And... Uh, geez, the oh, helmet was on. I don't know. Uh, she couldn't see. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there was... So yeah, apparently she ruined one of her, her suits. That's got to be a lot of money, too. I'm sure they're not like... Well, maybe they should design it better. Well, maybe maybe the Mandalorians should design their suits better. They're probably designed fine for the men, for They the probably have a little pee pouch but... in there, yeah. <laughs> I don't want to think that they're know. walking around with a pee pouch. Kind of like in Dune. No. In Dune, it's not a pee pouch exactly. They recycle your sweat yeah, and everything and you re-drink it. Sweat and everything, yeah. Everything. If it comes so out, it goes back in. So why Mandalorians do that? Can res- they get a they pee pouch. don't live primarily in the desert in the sand dunes. No. On Arrakis. So. There's also supposedly rumors of a deleted scene that was supposed to be in the end of The Mandalorian. Oh, where Paz got a... No. Where no, no credit Din for and Paz. Bo kiss. What? I, yeah. I mean, Katie Sackhoff has actually said she shipped their characters in the past. How did they kiss? Like, helmet to helmet? <laughs> well, I'm serious. <laughs> She was on stage and she was talking about an, a kiss outtake. Do they like butt heads? Is that how like helmeted Mandos kiss? <laughs> it was an outtake. Oh, because not a real thing. It was more of a joke. Okay. Yes. 
it was a moment that was kind of improvised by Brendan Wayne and her while the cameras were on, and then it was ultimately cut. I was going to say, so, so which one even, did she kiss? Because well, hey, it wasn't Pedro. Pedro was supposed to come to the set. So, yeah, he was supposed to come to the set. He was actually supposed to come to the set, but he couldn't make it for the finale where the... So is that why... Where he, did, apparently he was supposed to have a helmetless cameo, which maybe was supposed to be a kiss with Bo. Who knows? I think there's, I think there's more interesting news in the fact, not, not the helmeted kiss or whatever they were doing, or the real kiss, I suppose, but yeah. the fact that he was supposed to be there. And he wasn't. And he wasn't, and there was supposed to be a helmet removal, and there wasn't. Yeah. And then they, quote unquote, improvised a kiss that maybe was supposed to be there, but because Pedro didn't show up, they couldn't do it. He was busy with the scheduling uh, issue with The Last of Us. Could they just never film it because Pedro didn't show up? And then her and Brendan Wayne just improvised it for funsies because they knew it was supposed to be there? Do you think they were supposed to kiss? That that was in the script? It'd I don't know. It'd be so weird because there was no real, no real like, well, I guess in the but one scene there was a little film. tension. But they couldn't film it. You know, the McQueen scene? <laughs> the McQueens. She's you know, McQueen. McQueen. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you know the scene I'm talking about. Yeah, but I, I could actually see it being there. Well, I mean, look at Ray and Kylo, like, out of nowhere. Or Ray and Ben, I'm sorry. Yes. You know, I don't really know there was much of a reason to do that, and they did it. Yeah, so why not? I just think it's funny that Pedro Pascal wasn't able to show up for the last, you know, the finale filming. Shows how filming. much he uh, wants to kiss <laughs> yeah. Katie Sackhoff, huh? He couldn't, he, he quote unquote, couldn't show up because of scheduling yeah. issues. Then the helmet scene that was rumored to be there where he's supposed to remove his helmet is cut. And then there's an improvised kiss... Between two characters who may have saw it in a script and just were like, ha ha, he's Let's not here. Anyway. Let's do it anyway for funsies. I don't know. It's unclear, but it's interesting. And then earlier this year, there were rumors about Ghost Track 17, another New Republic era show in developed. That's where we kept thinking there was going to be this Bo-Katan spinoff, this yeah. stinger at the end of Mando season three. No stinger at all, yeah. Yeah, because we kept thinking, oh, this is it, Ghost Track 17. We were We were promised... This is the Bo-Katan spinoff. But Katie Sackhoff refused to respond to that at all. She just didn't say anything. Well, she's got her own show now. She took the reins <laughs> of The Mandalorian. Why does she need her own show? No, this is supposed to be in developed. Ghost Track 17. Come on. It's supposed to be from John and Dave. Well, Dave did allude to in one of the interviews that, yes, they have things going on that mm-hmm. haven't been announced. So, I mean, it could be the, ghost, the, the working title for the fourth season of Mando, but... I mean, season three apparently one of the seasons earlier went by the code name of Huckleberry. I don't, I don't know. Huckleberry, like yeah. Huckleberry Finn. Yeah. Okay. And I mean, they kept Skeleton Crew under wraps for so long because didn't they call it Grammar Radio? Yep. Mm-hmm. But then they have a show in the works, Ghost Track Seventeen, which everyone is assuming because George Lucas loved the Beatles. There is a ghost track in one of the Beatles albums, Abbey Road. There's, there's 16 tracks listed, but the 17th ghost track is named Her Majesty, <clears throat> Bo-Katan. Okay, yeah. Yes. With George loving the Beatles, them having a ghost track on Abbey Road named Her Majesty, people are assuming that that meant Bo-Katan was getting a spinoff, and we have no idea if that's still happening. Mm-hmm. But it's interesting. It is interesting. Mm-hmm. I just wonder, does Bo-Katan need a spinoff, or is she going to be... Headlining spin, the Mandalorian. What, what is going on with all that? We don't even know. <laughs> she, she can do it all. She's great. We're assuming she's going to give the show back to retired Din and Grogu. That is an assumption. Not, not necessarily a fact. <laughs> no. Well, I do have one other little article we can talk about today. This is something that kind of came out a little bit ago. Star Wars, the Old Republic going third party. Because Bioware wants to focus on Mass Effect and Dragon Age. I don't know if this is good or bad or... They're talking about moving Star Wars The Old Republic from Bioware to third-party studio Broadsword Online Games. Yeah, I heard a little about this. I've never played Old Republic, so... I know. We have, yeah. we have friends who, who've played Old Republic and want you to play Old Republic. We just don't have time for an MMO right now. We have a hard enough time finding time to play Zelda. <laughs> Wait, the new one. You mean the, like the two hours I've put in? Yeah, Sad. and I've watched you because we kind of play that together. Yeah. Sort of. But no, I've I've always kind of shied away from playing it because I know playing a Star Wars MMO is dangerous for me, mm. very dangerous. Because it's if very you, time consuming. If you wonder uh, if like videos just stop coming out for me, I probably started playing it because I told a friend of mine uh, online here that I was going to try it out, and I do plan on doing that, <laughs> but haven't yet because again, fear. Well, fear. once the uh, news of this happening kind of leaked out onto the internet, EA addressed the news in a statement. 
They said, almost 12 years after launch, Star Wars The Old Republic remains a success and continues to grow its dedicated and passionate community. We're so proud of the work the team has done in the future of the game and the community continues to be very bright. We're evaluating how we give the game and the team the best opportunity to grow and evolve, which includes conversation with Broadsword, a boutique studio that specializes in delivering online community-driven experiences. Our goal is to do what's best for the game and its players. I mean, currently there's like 70 to 80 people that are the core development team of Old Republic under their current developer. And they're saying about more than half of them are expected to move to Broadsword with the game. Those remaining at EA have the opportunity to look for roles elsewhere within the company, but might face layoffs otherwise. Well, I'll go with the game then. Jeez. <laughs> go with the game. But they, <laughs> but they may not have enough space at Broadsword to take so all of So it sounds like their workforce is being cut in half, which... Uh... Well, no. People who work at Broadsword already would work on this game as okay. well. Okay. Because you do have to adapt it to their systems and well, how sure, they do things. Sure, sure. It just, it sounds like... It's um... worrisome, though. Yeah. I mean, they're saying Old Republic's going to continue to see planned content updates. I mean, they've got their patch 7.3 coming, the next PvP season, and hopefully everything goes okay for it. I mean, I feel sad that EA and Bioware, they want to focus more on putting their resources into Dragon Age and Mass Effect. Can't imagine why. Because they make more money. Yeah. Now we'll see how the Old Republic fares under Broadsword. Hopefully well. Mm -hmm. I mean, I have no ill will towards the game. Like I said, I haven't played it because I don't want to. I haven't played it because I know bad things happen. Yeah, we just have have no idea, though, what date this is going to take place. I don't imagine it's pretty imminent, yeah. Mm -hmm. If you've announced it, that means things are in the... In the Always in motion, big announcements are. Or something. (laughs) Or something. (laughs) So yeah, I guess that's going to be all we got for you this time. So now it's your turn to take to the comments below and tell us what you think of any and all of today's news. Do you think Bo-Katan is going to get a spinoff or is she just going to lay claim to the Mandalorian and keep it. Well, she already laid claim to his lips. <laughs> Not the right Mandalorian, though. A false Or is Mandalorian. it the right Mandalorian? No, wait. Yeah, I think that is a real Mandalorian at this point. <laughs> anyway, take to the comments below. Let's talk some Star Wars. And until next time, thanks for watching.